All right, so Convolve is probably already on its way to being your next favorite part of Trash 2. Amps and convolution distortion add a spice to your recordings that is just priceless. Now, let's talk about the mics within the Convolve section. Isotope gives you three here. Let's start by taking a look at the dynamic mic, which is a good all-around mic in the Trash 2 virtual reality and in reality. Let's have a listen to it. Not bad. In the case of Trash 2, in terms of coloration, think of the dynamic mic as the middle of the road mic, in terms of coloration. The condenser mic works well for bringing out a broader, higher frequency response. Let's hear this one. Try this one out on a lead guitar, lead synth, or some nasty arp lines. Finally, the ribbon mic is the absolute best for a warmer, lower response. Personally, I've had a lot of luck with this mic with bass lines. Let's give it a listen. Realistically, all the mics work wonderfully for many different situations, but it's ultimately the combination of the distortion, convolution, impulse, and filtering that will tell you which mic to go with. Next, let's take a look at how Convolve works with stereo parts, and how it doesn't. <laughs> 